So we're very interested to understand how the row position affects class 1 yields and quality. And what we found last year with Marling Champion was that the yields in, in the centre row here per plant were around 796 grams per plant, so uh, up to 800 grams. And the yields in this row here were 653 grams. So even though these rows are only two metres apart, there's an 18 to 20% difference in yield between the plants in these rows compared to these rows. At the same plants, planted in the same coir, or planted at the same time, receiving the same water and fertiliser treatments. And so we're very interested to understand why the yields in this row are a lot higher. And of course, even though they're only two metres apart, what we know is that the environment in this row, the phytoclimate, the environment around the plant, is actually very different to the phytoclimate in this row. And so what we're interested in doing is to be able to measure and map and then manage that phytoclimate to try and raise the yields across the growing area. And so um, you'll see in the distance there we have lots of different sensors in different positions within the row. So we can measure air temperature, humidity, we can measure light intensity, uh, PAR, uh, which is the sort of the, the wavelengths that light uh, plants use to dry photosynthesis. And also we can measure the water content of the, of the substrate, the EC, and so we can get a very detailed picture of how the environment around this row uh, is similar and also differs to the environment around this row. And what we hope to be able to do is to identify those parameters that, that drive these high yields in this row. So we can then begin to manage the environment in all of the rows to try to make sure that we even yields up across the growing area.